Hey everybody, Scott Sprancher here, DocSports.com with our update for Friday, March 8th, 2019. Free pick coming up in college baskets in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and uh, then have at it. You can use the free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports or anybody else, any other handicapper at DocSports.com for that matter. And again, the free $60 account is yours if you've yet to become a member. And all you got to do to get started is click on the link below the video. NBA college basketball last night and NHL. We end up with a 2-3 and three card overall. It was kind of frustrating because we were about that close uh, to 4-1. and one. Niagara, one of our college basketball plays, was a 50-50 situation with 10 seconds to go. And uh, they came up short, and then NBA was a little bit more frustrating because we played under 233 between the Thunder and the Blazers. And if you saw that game last night, then you know it went under in regulation by seven points. But overtime sends it to the over, and that's the way it goes, unfortunately, sometimes. And again, being that close to 4-1 and one, turns into 2-3 and three just like that with a couple of uh, unfortunate bounces of the basketball. But we look to come back. On Friday, and by the way, the trifecta is 61 and 42, almost 60 percent. A couple of pushes in there with our last 105 plays in those basketball trifectas. Uh, here's what we got going on Friday we got two plays in college, two plays in the NBA, one in the NHL, five plays in all. Uh, as far as college basketball is concerned, we do have a conference tournament game that is backed by a 25 and 5, 83 percent winning spot that goes back six years. That's going to be revealed in the analysis on that pick on uh, Friday morning over at DocSports.com. So we look to go to 2-0 and in college baskets. And we normally have just one play in the NBA nightly, but we've actually got two on Friday, a pair of slam dunk plays in the NBA. And we look to go up over $3,000 for $100 per unit betters in the NBA since January 2nd. So you'll be able to get all four of the basketball plays at DocSports.com and, of course, the NHL where – uh, we released a, a nice NHL blowout, I guess you could call it, last night with St. Louis 4 nothing winners over the Kings. Laid a little bit bigger price than we normally do, but you can see why uh, with that 4 nothing shutout result. I uh, wanted to mention also that, uh, of course, the conference tourney is really kicking to gear this upcoming week, and we're 16-5 and five winning years, last 21 years, with our March Madness Big Dance and Conference Tournament uh, releases combined, 16 winning years in 21 uh, not a bad ratio, that's for sure. $299 gets the rest of my college basketball package. That'll take you from the time you sign up right through the championship game in April. You don't want to miss out. We look to make it 17-5 and five winning years uh, with Big Dance, the smaller tournaments, the conference tournaments all combined. And again, it's a great price, uh, well discounted over at DocSports.com. You can still grab that on Friday's card. But again, don't forget five plays all released on Friday morning, DocSports.com. Uh, we'll wait till about 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific with college basketball uh, since there are a few tournament games without lines uh, right now. But as of now, five plays available on Friday morning, DocSports.com. Hey, I wanted to mention also, uh, be sure to check us out on uh, Saturday morning's early video because I've looked ahead as we do every single week a couple of days in on Saturday's card. We've got three big plays. This could be our uh, unit-wise, our biggest play, excuse me, our biggest card on a Saturday of the entire college basketball season. And if we get the right number, which I suspect we will, we'll have our very first eight-star play of the college basketball season going on Saturday. And of course, we'll alert you to that with Saturday morning's early video. We should have that up by 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific, if not before that, on Saturday morning. So be sure to come back and check that out. So Major League Baseball, we're going to get to that in a day or two. We still got some time before, obviously, we get to the baseball regular season. A couple of games in Japan on March 20th, 21st. Season starts a week after that for everybody else. But uh, we're all about basketball right now, and we want to stay focused. In our free pick, which won here yesterday, real easy pick. It was a bonus play also because it was a premium play at DocSports.com. Northern Colorado jumped out on Southern Utah, never let up. Uh, winning that game 70-53 as a four-and-a-half point favorite. We're going back to college basketball for our Friday free pick. It is a 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific time tip-off, uh, so don't uh, sleep on it and miss this one. Uh, but we're taking VMI, who's getting right now a point-and-a-half against Western Carolina. 
Team 890 VMI, and again, the game at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, VMI won both of this season's meetings, and here's the thing, man. A lot of folks like to jump on almost a, a knee-jerk jump into betting the team in two-time revenge, but it's not always a great proposition. In fact, it's pretty much 50-50, and, and the reason is, is sometimes the matchups in favor of the team that won the two regular season games are, are just too much for that particular opponent, and they go on to win all three games in a season series. I think that's the case here, at least in my betting opinion. Neither team sets the world on fire on the defensive end, yet VMI did hold Western Carolina to about 41% shooting in the second meeting. It was an 83-78 to road win by VMI. Here's the thing. They made just 15 of 25 shots on the, excuse me, 15 of 25 free throws on the road in that game. Still won the game by five. They won 91-83 at home earlier this meeting. Uh, they made about 56% of their shots did VMI on that one. But again, they missed 10 of 26 free throws, yet still won that game by eight and still scored 90 points in that one. The biggest advantage and the reason they won those first two games and the reason I like them here to make it three straight this season is the fact that VMI handles the rock well and they go after teams and force turnovers. They have 28 assists against Western Carolina in the two games combined this year. 28 assists and just 15 turnovers. On the flip side, Western Carolina has committed 31 turnovers in the two games combined against VMI. So they are minus 16, an average of minus 8 per game in the two games against VMI this year as far as their turnovers are concerned. And basically that's what they do. Western Carolina, one of their biggest issues is the fact that they don't handle the ball well. They've got a horrible 0-69 assist turnovers ratio, averaging about 12 assists per game, but 17 turnovers per contest. I think it's going to fall into place once again. Uh, I like VMI here. They're getting, again, about a point and a half. VMI over Western Carolina. VMI, the free pick for Friday. And again, by the way, that game goes 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Pacific. Uh, so don't miss out if you like that side. All right, again, five plays for sure. We might add uh, one or two more, depending on the lines. I doubt it. We kind of know where the power ratings are, where the lines are going to be uh, for Friday, but at least five plays, two college basketball, two NBA, one NHL. Let's get that 5-0 sweep. Let's build up for the big Saturday card. Love Saturday's card. And uh, go grab those plays on Friday morning over at DocSports.com. All right, if you like the videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column. See you Saturday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific.